Hey guys, it's Barry. So I've tried to record this intro like four times now and just can't get my words together. So I'm just going to start working. So the reason that I built the, sorry, uh, the reason that I built the walls right there um, is I wanted to separate the master bedroom suite from the kitchen a little bit more so there wasn't just a door directly off the kitchen. Separates it out, makes it a little bit uh, less intrusive going into the master bedroom. So there's going to be a hallway on the left hand side which I've already busted out and put in the new header so that there's now a doorway, it used to be a closet. And then the existing actual doorway that used to go into that bedroom is now just going to be a small closet uh, in addition to the big master closet over on the side you know sort of like the the man closet because that's what i would use for my two pairs of shoes and four pairs of pants and this shirt so the next part of this project uh for the main floor i still have to go upstairs and build closets but i want to section it out i want to get 100 percent on framing what that means to me is uh, all the way up to the point that I can put up sheetrock. Of course, I got to do electrical insulation, all that stuff first. But while I'm doing framing, I want to do it all. Things like cutting out the uh, bottom plates. Hang on. Oh, sorry. I need to fur out all of these to match this. And just, you know, getting all the rest of the junk off the walls getting it completely ready just to put up sheetrock. That makes me happy, you know, doing something 100% on the single room, and then I go to the next room and do that 100%. Uh, it's just an easier way to, to get through this without um, missing stuff. Okay, so except for cleaning up the floor, uh, that is the bathroom done. I'm going to get that done real quick and then uh, move on to the closet, which is the next room down. Well, I thought I was done in this room, but I forgot. Um, I'm going to put the tub up against that outside wall. And it's wider than the tub, so I've got to build a, a wall on the other side to block it off. So I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I knew I was forgetting something. So the tub will go here, controls on that side. And with the wall here, it makes a uh, little linen pantry, which is always handy, extra storage. On to the next one. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm not ready to move on. So I looked at the hole where the tub was gonna go that I just made and I'm like, it doesn't look right. So I stuck my sheetrock square down and measured into the outside wall and it is way off. That outside wall is um, probably about an inch difference from that side to that side. So uh, I got some more furring to do, then I'll move on.
Okay, now it is a square hole box area for the tub. So it was 3 eighths, 7 eighths, and an inch and an eighth. I guessed about an inch, so that was pretty close. Now I'm on to the next room. Well, that's it for this room. Well, that's one day of work. Got some walls put up, got some rooms finished out. I think it was pretty good. I'm gonna go eat. So this doorway um, was obviously original to the house and I'm using it to go into the laundry room. Um, and I wanna have a door in it just to separate the washer and dryer from the kitchen. Um, so I'm gonna put this door that goes to the entryway outside in this hole um so that you know it's because it's got a glass uh window in it uh let light into this area i think it'll be nice uh and it's probably original to the house which i like using stuff like that um so this is like 36 inches but this door is a 32 uh so i just need to put a few uh bits of framework on this side uh, to shrink the door into the correct size so I can reuse that door. Let me explain why there's gaps here. Uh, so there's gonna be trim boards on the outside of this. I'm gonna actually put full solid wood on this as well as the inside to case out the door frame. So the sheetrock is gonna come up all the way to the very end and then there's gonna be wood on top of it. So the gaps um, doesn't matter because it's gonna have solid wood on top of it. Basically these are just nailers. Just need something to pound some nails into. Now you know. Look how not level this ceiling is, interior ceiling. It's closed there and 36 inches over, it's about an inch and a half. This is the interior ceiling, it's not a roof. Like, there's an attic above. Why did they do it like that? So that is uh, both bathrooms, the pantry and master closet done. I'm just gonna get cleaned up and I'll move on. So it's about five o'clock now. Um, 
probably gonna be going home here soon. I just wanted to get cleaned up. Uh, just take at least one truckload of stuff away. This room's getting pretty cluttered and it's driving me absolutely bonkers. I like everything to be neat so I can continue working, not get stuff tripping over it in the way. So I'm gonna chuck some stuff in the truck and uh, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching.